so used to calling you Mayor Greg Stanton. I've got to get used to Congressman, Representative Stanton. How does it feel? Uh, it's a great night tonight, and I'm really excited. Look, our campaign won this race the right way. A grassroots, people-powered campaign, and we sent a message that if you're someone with a pre-existing condition, we're going to fight for you. Healthcare was the number one issue in this race, and people want real checks and balances in Washington. They don't want one party to have all, all the control, and that's exactly what I'm going to bring. I've got a record of real results working in a bipartisan way, and that's exactly what I'm doing, Congressman be a results-oriented, bipartisan uh, leader, and the results speak for themselves. A great night. I couldn't be more excited. I feel like that's a tough task, given uh, the volatile nature in our political system, especially in Congress. You see Democrats really sticking together when it comes to especially the, the more contentious votes. Is that uh, the type of representative you're going to be, or are you going to be willing to cross no, party lines? I'm a mayor. Lines? And when you're a mayor, <laughs> you are trained to be a bipartisan leader. When you're a mayor, you get things done. And I was able to work in a very bipartisan way with our city council, and that's in my DNA. That's in my very nature. So expect me to be judged by how I, whether I get things done. I don't want to win a debating society. I want to get things done for the people of the 9th District and all across Arizona. Uh, so during your uh, acceptance speech, you thanked Republicans who crossed party lines in order to uh, get you elected. That was, um, I thought, very interesting. I've never heard that before from, from anyone who's been well, elected. Well, here's the truth. You see the number that we won by. Mm -hmm. It is significantly more than the Democrats in the district. I only won this race by such a wide margin with having great bipartisan support. But I would expect nothing less because that's how I acted as the leader of the city in a very bipartisan way. So I've always had strong support from both Democrats and Republicans, and I expect that to continue because they trust me. I've got a track record of success, and they trust me moving forward. What are your priorities going to be once you get to Congress? I want to have a great uh, infrastructure investment. I believe that the United States is falling behind our competitor nations. I want to fight for health care and fight for the Affordable Care Act, protect people with pre-existing conditions. We want to lower the costs of pharmaceutical drugs. We finally going to stand up to the drug companies and say, no longer are you going to dictate prices. We're going to have negotiation on prices to bring the prices down. I'm going to be a leader on climate change and climate change related issues. And you know what else? We're finally going to pass a comprehensive immigration bill. We're going to solve the immigration crisis in America. That's what I plan to do. Yeah. And by the way, one more thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to vote to end dark money in our federal elections. So those are my priorities. You know, one of the things that I talked to uh, uh, Representative Gallego about uh, was uh, the fact that you really appreciated uh, the immigration reform plan that was put, to, put out by Senator John McCain and Senator Jeff Flake. You said that they got it right. What, what did they get it right? Well, they had a very balanced bipartisan bill, which is exactly what the American people uh, want. Just a few years ago, they put forward a bill in a bipartisan way that had the overwhelming support of both Democrats and Republicans in the Senate. But that bill didn't even get a vote in the House. Yeah. Those days are gone. Uh, I'm an elected. My party is now uh, going to be the majority party, and we're finally going to get a comprehensive immigration reform that solves the issue for dreamers. I'm so inspired by these dreamers who came here as young people, and they, they deserve to take their rightful leadership uh, role. We need to pass the Clean Dream Act. Well, we appreciate Thank it. The so Dreamers line got the biggest round of applause here in this room. And Stephen Katie, we want to send it back to you in the studio. Thank you so much.